My name's Nate from Costa Mesa, California. In 2017, my son was two years old. I got diagnosed with testicular cancer. Pretty much urgently, I got rushed to have surgery, get the orchiectomy. Next thing I knew, I went in for another scan and they told me that my cancer has spread. It's gone to my lungs and there's all these nodules that started popping up. So they, uh, they diagnosed me there at stage three testicular cancer. They asked me to do chemo. Uh, they basically told me I was gonna die if I didn't. You know, and having a two-year-old son, I had to make some decisions on how I wanted to, you know, move forward with treatment. I asked them what the, you know, what type of cancer cell this chemo that they wanted to give me cured. And they said, oh, we're 100% sure, you know, the, the, the chemo is gonna take care of this type of, you know, cancer cell. And in my particular case, that's like the lowest one that I had, 5%. So 100% sure of a 5% of my particular mixed germ cell. Uh, didn't sound very promising to me. I told the doctor that I wanted to wait and that I wanted to you know, try to see if I could fix it on my own. Not doing chemo was uh, a really tough decision, uh, to be honest, like all my family and a lot, a lot of my friends really you know, push me to, to just do it and just say, hey, you know, you're young, you're gonna bounce back. And I just didn't feel right about it. And so I gave myself a deadline. I said, three months, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn everything I possibly can about myself. I'm gonna learn about my body. I'm just gonna research about all, diff all different types of natural treatments for cancer. And I'm just gonna do everything and just hit it as hard as I can. So I did. Uh, I started with the ketogenic diet because I learned that uh, cancer really you know, feeds off of glucose in your body. So I really wanted to try to cut that food supply. And that was my first step. <laughs> the next thing that I did was the high-dose vitamin C drip. It actually looks like glucose to your body. So all your cells go and attack it as if I just were to eat, you know, some sugar, including the cancer cells. What happens when the cells eat it is it turns into a hydrogen peroxide. And the healthy cells are able to convert that hydrogen peroxide into antioxidants. So they're getting stronger. And then I learned about CBD and Rick Simpson oil. And so I started taking CBD regularly. I looked at CBD as just something to really open up the passageways for uh, the Rick Simpson oil to work. What Rick Simpson oil is, it's basically a full plant extract of cannabis. Basically, it's like taking the cancer at its weakest point because it's starving, it's being overwhelmed with high dose vitamin C, opening up the passageways, you know, where it can't really have, it doesn't have anywhere to hide in inflammation or anything like that. And then the Rick Simpson oil goes in there and just kicks its ass. Three months go by, I go to the doctor for my scan and get my results back and my tumors have shrunk. Everything's working. The doctor says to me, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it because it's working. I'm like, all right, well, you know, let's schedule my next scan in three months and, and do it again. Three months go by, still strict on all my protocols, shrinking a little bit more. Hey, let's, let's do it six months from now. You don't need to do this many scans. Okay, six months go by, shrinking a little more. It just keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller every time. And still, remission isn't even, you know, a word that can be spoken. Today, three years later, I'm in remission. The doctor that told me that I was never gonna be in remission, he gives me a call and says, hey, listen, there's no way, there's no way I can prove that you have cancer in your body. And I'm like, my question, does that mean I'm in remission? And he said, yeah, that means you're in remission. <laughs> How about that? I have a new lease on life. It's, it feels amazing. I have a story, I'm a success story. I tell people that, you know, I'm not a doctor, you know, I've got no medical background. I, I'm, I'm just a guy that learned a little bit about my body and I made some decisions that benefited my life. And if somebody were to get diagnosed and tell me, I would tell them, don't be stressed out. They're gonna try to tell you that you're gonna die. Obviously, yeah, that's, a, that's an option. 
That's definitely something that's been hanging over my head for the last three years. And having a little boy knowing that I may not be around to see him grow up, it was scary. I just thought positive. I just didn't let any negativity get to me. I didn't let anybody, anybody's opinion, anybody's you know negative thoughts of anything affect me. Fuck Cancer took me out here to Parker, Arizona, to go wake surfing to celebrate my remission, share my story, and we went wake surfing. First time ever wake surfing, and I stood up my first try. I've surfed since I was a little kid. You know, my dad was really big into surfing growing up, so I've always I've always been by the beach camping by the beach, surfing all the time, you know, so it's uh, it's definitely been a part of my life, but I've never done anything on a river before. So this is a this is a brand new experience there. Um, it was uh, it was epic. It was just so much fun just getting wet and kind of just being free. I think that's the best the best feeling is, you know, just kind of just being out there and not having any worries. I would tell anybody, you know, to really choose their own path because that's the path they're gonna have to live with. And if they do what they believe is true, then they're not gonna have regrets, regardless of which way they go. So for all of you guys out there that supported me and you know helped me financially, or text messages, phone calls, uh, all the millions of ways that you guys have been there for me, I just wanna say, it's because of you really uh, that I was able to go down this path and that I was able you know, to survive. And you know now I'm, I have a whole new lease on life that I get to uh, that I get to have because of of you guys, and I just thank you. I just wanted to you know take this moment here at this lake, doing this fun activity with you know these people to to let you guys all know that I'm in remission and that I'm here, and uh, you know I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep sharing this story to. Uh, hopefully lots of other people. So that's what this is about, and I'm so grateful for all of you, and thank you all so much.